He who sent me is with me. The Father has not left me alone, for I always do those things that please him. John 8, 29. Live your purpose to enjoy God's presence. People who have a mission and a purpose in their lives are the people who feel God's presence with them the most, all the time. We forget that we are here on earth temporarily, and then we leave. We think like other people. We were born here and have birth certificates and nationality, but life is not about that at all. We came here for a purpose. When it ends, he will take us back. If you live according to this concept, you will constantly feel God's presence. So the first thing that helps you to feel God all the time is to focus on your mission. A woman who gets busy with the responsibilities of her house and her children is far from God even if she prays. But if she remembered that she has a mission to testify of God in her home, in her work, in the street, the idea of the mission will make her feel God's presence better. We miss this concept, which, very, which the very idea of it makes us giddy. Jesus talked about this concept many times. John 17, 18, for example. As you sent me into the world, I also have sent them into the world. God sent us into this world as messengers, as light and salt to the world. You are not living for your own goals. You live for a purpose. When you think about your purpose, you will feel God's presence. You'll discover prayer is easy. When you live your day to just finish your errands, to eat, to drink, to work, to drive, you lost God because you lost the purpose. Moses, Jeremiah, and Gideon began to feel God's presence when they had a mission to accomplish. When a purpose discovers that God wants him to do something, this something, i.e. his mission, keeps his hand in God's hands at all times. When the mission slips away, so does the feeling of God's companionship. Elijah is one example of those who lived in this state of what we're talking about. That is, the state of being in God's presence all the time. Whenever he talked to someone, he would say, As the Lord lives, before whom I stand. He saw God in front of him all the time, even when no one could see him. It is like he was praying all the time. This powerful spirit and the high degree of prayer that Elijah had were lost when he started saying, I am alone. What happened? Your whole life you said, as the Lord lives before whom I stand. When did he leave you? When Elijah felt that he was alone, all his power was gone. Elijah became very weak in front of Jezebel, who was just a little idol worshiper. Before that, he was so powerful and he killed 850 of Baal's prophets. I see that this big difference is because at this moment, he started to lose the feeling of God's presence. Therefore, he lost his power. I am alone? Alone? Since when, Elijah, have you been alone? Your whole life you were on the mountain by yourself, but God was with you. Your whole life things were turbulent, but God was with you. That's why when Elijah told God, I am alone, God did not answer, meaning we need to start over from the beginning. We need to go back to grade one so you understand what I am with you means. So come to me on the mountain and let's review what we've learned long ago. I am the one who brings wind and earthquake and fire. Do you now know who I am and what it means when I am with you? Do, you, do we need to review it again so that you don't say, I am alone? Jacob saw God once in the dream of the latter, but he paid it no attention and went on living his life. After 20 years, he was returning to his town and Esau was coming to him to kill him. He was filled with a deep loneliness. Esau was angry and ready to kill him. He was terrified because he was going to meet Esau alone while Esau had 400 men and was going to kill him. He felt so alone and needed God very much. He knows, of course, that he's been ignoring God for 20 years back when God had promised him that he will be with him for the sake of Abraham and Isaac. But Jacob ignored God. He went to Laban and there he lied and cheated. When he remembered God's promise, the promise, I am with you, Jacob said to himself, I want that night. 
and I want to see you, and I want to hold your hand, and I want you to stand with me when I meet Isu. He insisted on sp experiencing the same feelings he had experienced in that old dream. So Jesus came to him, and Jacob wrestled with him and did not let him go. He told God, don't leave me. I was bad, I was young, you, I left you, but don't leave me. He did not want God to leave him alone with Esau because he knew what Esau could do to him. He could kill the mothers and the kids. Jacob held on to God until God asked him to let him go at dawn.